Welcome sa sip9.com uh, In this video ay mag-aaral tayo kung paano ba mag-divide ng fractions no? And uh, kung napanood niyo yung previous video natin Doon sa lesson 23 ng fractions ay makikita ninyo na uh, From there, we learned how to get the reciprocal of a number no? So gagamitin natin yung napag-aaralan natin na yon In order to solve um, problems involving division of fractions No? So, let's have our first example. What is 1 half divided by 4? No? What is 1 half divided by 4? So, para tayo makapag-divide ng, ng number or fractions, ang gagawin natin is to get the reciprocal of the divisor. No? So, and then, uh, instead of uh, division, gagawin natin siyang multiplication. No? So, Dito ay uh, kukunin muna natin yung reciprocal ng 4. So that is um, reciprocal ng 4th o oh, ng 4 ay 1 fourth, no? So the reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth, no? So 1 fourth yung reciprocal and then we will change the uh, division operation to multiplication. So this becomes... 1 half times 1 fourth. No? So, napag-aralan na natin kung paano mag-multiply uh, ng fractions. Ano? And sabi natin, pag nag-multiply tayo ng fractions, we multiply the numerator or the numerators and we also multiply the denominators. So, magiging product yan, yun yung magiging numerator and the denominator of the resulting fraction. So, from here, 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, ang 1 half divided by 4 is equal to 1 eighth. Okay? So, let's have our second example. What is 3 fourth divided by 4 fifth? Again, we get the reciprocal of this one, of this uh, fraction. That the reciprocal is 5 over 4. And then, kagawin natin siyang multiplication times 5 over 4, okay? And of course, we multiply the uh, numerators. So we multiply 3 by 5, we have 15. And then we multiply 4 by 4, we have 16. Okay, so I guess madali lang, ano? Um, two steps, get the divisor and then, uh, or get the reciprocal of the divisor and then multiply to the uh, yung original niya na uh, dividend, no? So, let's have our third example. What is 8 divided by 1 and 1 half? So, dito, of course, meron tayong uh, mixed fraction na gagawin natin. Gagawin natin siyang improper fraction, no? So, magiging equal to 8 times 1 and 1 half para siya magiging improper fraction. Pag-aralan na natin to, no? But then, uh, let's have uh, the steps. Let's learn about the steps again as a review. So, we have 2 times 1 and then plus 1. Yun ang ating uh, improper fraction, no? So, so, magiging 2 pa rin yung kanyang denominator. So, copy, just copy the denominator. And to get the numerator, we have to multiply the denominator by the whole number and then add to 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So 8 divided by 1 half is the same as 8 divided by 2 thirds. No? Sorry, 8 divided by 3 halves. No? 3 halves. And sabi natin pag division, we have to get the reciprocal of this. So magiging 8 times 2 thirds which is equal to, again, sabi natin, pag whole number, pwede natin lagyan ng over 1. No? So, pag minultiply natin yan, magiging uh, 16 over 3, no? 16 over 3. Of course, you can uh, convert this again back to mixed fraction kung nire-require, no? So, 16 divided by 3, so that's 5, 
5 times 3 is 15 and then 1 uh, 1 yung remainder so pwede siyang magiging 5 this is the whole number 5 and this is the numerator and this is the denominator so 16 and 1 third or 5 and 1 third okay so last example what is 4 and 1 third divided by 3 fourths so again kailangan palagi siyang improper or uh, dapat wala tayong mixed fraction no pag tayo ay nagdi-divide para mas madali so we have to convert this to improper fraction kanina lang pag-aralan na natin that we have to just copy the denominator 3 dito 3 dito and then to get the numerator we have uh, to multiply 3 and 4 3 times 4 plus 1 that becomes 13 over 3 divided by 3 fourths no and again um babalik ta rin natin to maging uh, yung reciprocal niya 4 thirds and we uh, multiply by 13 over 3 no so magiging times 4 over 3 no? which is equal to how many that's uh, 52 over 9 no or uh, kung gusto nyo yung i uh, gusto nyo yung i convert ulit to mixed fraction we have 52 divided by 9 so ilan yan we have 5 no so that's 45 that's 12 7 which is again equal to 5 this is the whole number and 7 over 9 this is the numerator and this is the denominator your nine okay so if say in four and one third divided by three fourth equals five and seven nine so from the discussions ang uh, summary siguro is that to divide fractions you have to uh, get the reciprocal of the divisor and then uh, convert the division uh, problem to multiplication problem no and then, kung meron tayong uh, mixed fraction, dapat gawin natin siya improper fraction para uh, mas ma-divide ma natin siya lang mas madali. Okay, I think yun yung mga ideas na dapat yung tandaan pag kayo ay nag-divide ng fractions. Now, lastly, bakit, siguro ang tatanong nyo sa akin kung bakit, bakit tayo, or bakit natin kinukuha yung reciprocal pag tayo nag-divide, no? So, because if we divide a number, for example, we divide A divided by B. It's actually the same as A times 1 over B. No? So, kung ang A over B, pag nirepresent nyo siya as a fraction, pwede siyang A over B. No? And then, yung A times uh, 1 over B is A over 1 times 1 over B. So, magiging A over B siya. So, kung makikita nyo, the same kung dalawang ito. No? So, dividing is actually the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. No? So, yan yung the idea behind behind this operation. Okay, so I hope meron kayo natandaan dito sa, or meron kayo natutunan dito sa ating discussion. Uh, gusto ko kayo imbitahan sa ating uh, website, sisiplain.com. Nandyan yung mga videos natin na sunod-sunod. And um, pwede nyo tignan yan. Ano? Pwede pa rin na sunod-sunod para mas maintindihan nyo siya. Of course, uh, kung kayo nanonood dito sa YouTube, pwede nyo ring uh, pwede rin kayo mag-subscribe sa ating YouTube channel. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.